Greetings, there, viewer. I'm Petu, and this is how to actually climb the diamond with Shen. I've gotten messages from literally thousands of Shen men telling me that my original climbing guide helped them reach their rank goals. So naturally, I felt it was necessary to make a season 12 version of this video. The idea is simple. I will play a game in each tier from silver to diamond and show you exactly what you need to do to win games in each elo. I will fit as much game knowledge as is humanly possible into my commentary and I guarantee you that you will learn something new while watching this video. I will obviously be playing only Shen because he's the champion that got me from diamond all the way to top 10 challenger. However, my advice will still be applicable to every top laner. Right here, level 1, what I want to do is I want to take control over the tribrush because sometimes the opponent will be coming through here and we might be able to cheese an early kill on them. I don't know what the Nunu wants from me because he probably wanted a leash or something. It looks like uh, Garen might not be... Okay, Garen is here. Oh no, what is this? Okay, okay, maybe it works. Maybe it actually works. It's the, it's the biggest bait of all time. <laughs> it's the biggest bait of all time. I win this. Shen is so strong level 1. I always win this. Okay? Always win this. Nice, we denied some experience from the opponent. I think I got all three experience for myself. While I'm zoning this Garen away, I'd like to tell you that there are two kind of recommended ways of enjoying this video. So the first one is to sit back, relax and enjoy the show. And option number two is that you partition your viewing process or learning process by Ooh, I think it's enough by bookmarking this video and then returning to it uh, and watching it in parts basically because it's a long video so you, ha you have two options there either watch it in parts or watch it as a whole I have divided the video into four chapters this is the first chapter which is the first game in silver yellow there's a garden next chapter will be gold like I said then platinum and finally we make it to diamond Lastly, I would like to mention that taking notes is very commendable indeed, but it is not necessarily <laughs> necessary, I mean. And uh, missing cannons is very, very necessary. It's a part of the process of reaching a diamond. Since Garen is only level 1, what I will do is, I will do a tower crash taunt. This is an advanced trading pattern for Shen, where you kind of uh, walk up to your opponent with a Q and then taunt backwards through them. Ooh, okay, 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 I can kill him here. I can kill him here. This is fine, this is fine. Because I need one, two seconds for my E. And then we kill. Nice! You can notice from my rune setup, I'm actually running Ingenious Hunter. Which is kind of an exquisite rune for Shen. Because it's not seen as often as the other ones. Which, I mean, the other one being old, um uh, Ultimate Hunter, and Ultimate Hunter is basically a standard Shen rune at this point. But what I kind of recommend in lower elo is that you can go for a more greedier setup and just try to go for a lane dominant playstyle. So why do we take Ingenious Hunter? It's because of the mythic that we are going for. Instead of going for a tank mythic, we will actually be building Divine Sunderer. Now some of you might think that this is like troll or something because Shen is not supposed to build damage, but Divine Sunderer it's actually such a good item. The healing and the damage that it does is uh, it's incomparable, basically. I'm gonna purchase Sheen on my first deck since we had such a good early game. Let's look at how bot lane is doing. Uh, in this uh, first commentary, I will mostly try to focus on kind of Shen mechanics and um, trade, like general top lane trading and wave management stuff, because this is essential to know before you proceed any further. And I do believe in this kind of. Uh, lane dominant playstyle that will get you up in elos because I believe everything starts from having a good laning phase and if, if you're just struggling in lane every game then I don't think you will ha kind of have that consistency that you need you, you won't have the control that is necessarily necessary to climb and what I will do now I, I think I will okay okay we need to back off okay it's okay I was uh, if, if I if Kane showed up maybe two seconds later I would have died there because then uh, I would have already eat in and tried to all in Garen <laughs> but it was good that he showed up before I had used my E um, Garen used Ignite as well look at our Ignite by the way it's coming up in three seconds when he goes for this minion oh he didn't actually go for it correctly he tried to last it before it was last hit the bull um, I'm, I'm gonna freeze the lane right here because 
because freezing waves the top lane, this is very essential for you to know. What you can do is you can punish the opponent really hard by doing this. So what we are doing is we are keeping the wave in a state where the opponent has to put himself into danger in order to see us. So then he has two options. Either he puts himself into danger or the other one is that uh, he just has to give up CS. And you can notice I'm not afraid of like giving up giving up last hits myself. But I what I want to emphasize is that experience is the most important thing while laning. Okay? Experience is more important than anything else. If you can gather experience and deny your opponent experience, look, can a minute dies? Garen wasn't in experience. This is so good for me. The more I can do stuff like that, the bigger of an XP lead and then level lead I will gather. He tries to go for this. If he goes for one more auto attack, he's gonna get taunted by me. Then we W instantly. He didn't use Q on it, which is uh, good by him. But we got a good chunk and then he lost some more XP. And what Shen does so well is once you get an early lead, what you can do is you can place your blade aggressively. Let me show you what an aggressive blade position looks like. So we will just walk towards him. Ominous. This is, we're just menacingly gonna walk towards him. Look at what's going on in bot lane. We ult on Thresh. You know why we ult here? You know, you know why that is a good ultimate? Let me explain. I know for a fact that Thresh is gonna die there. And I don't, I don't want to teleport away from my lane. Because uh, right now I want to be focusing on me winning my lane. So I will purposefully ult a target that is going to die. Because if the target dies during your cast time, you will not teleport over there. And what that allows me to do is, it gives me one stack of Ingenious Hunter. And it also uh, gives me an assist. But then I, 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 I kind of still remain in lane. And once this wave crashes, I will kill Garen again. It's so easy. You freeze, then you build up slow push. And now, look, we walk up, he kills, we wait out the silence, and then we kill. Boom. This is, you can do this every game, guys. Trust me, if you're silver, you follow this advice, you will get out in no time. And then we will get to gold, which will be the next one. And then I will show you how to get out of gold. After that, I'll show you how to get out of platinum. It's pretty easy, it's pretty easy. Um, I'm now looking for a recall opportunity here. I will use W to get a Sheen proc and then we run out. Usually as Shen, I'm not looking to take tower platings because Shen is really really kind of um, slow at taking towers. And you, most of the time, I'd rather just reset uh, in a very fast manner instead of um, wasting my time taking gold for myself. So uh, when you get the wave shoved out, usually you're looking for an ultimate into another lane or then you're looking for a recall, either of those two things. Now we're in a really strong position, 700 gold will get us into um, Divine Sunderer range and getting Divine Sunderer, this Garen is gonna be in a world of trouble. That was pretty cool, but the misfortune ultimate is huge. <gasps> Yasuo is still alive, I'm gonna instantly engage onto Garen once he's here. He went for Bramble West first back, which is not that bad for him, but it will delay his items a lot, so Garen will... He's essentially saying that uh, his uh, power spike will be delayed for like another five minutes. I'm not gonna let him take cannon, no way, no way, you're never getting that. I'm W'ing after my um, E times out, right? Because I know that he's gonna start casting abilities when my E times out, the taunt I mean. That's how I usually use my W versus champions like this. Versus Renekton versus Garen, uh, champions that have kind of empowered uh, auto attacks that they want to use. I just taunt them. And then, right as the taunt is about to end, we use W. It's it's a very easy way of making kind of <laughs> yourself look like you have some some uh, some uh, how do you say it, excellent prediction capabilities. But actually, what you're doing, you're just uh, using the same combo every time. E when taunt times out, then we use W. Now I will have to thin this wave out because uh, it's getting quite big. And usually you don't want to let the wave get too big because then you can't handle it. You can't like have control over it. Garen is now roaming to mid lane because he's frustrated about the fact that I'm just taking full control over his lane. I will pull these minions back like this. It's cannon wave right now. So I will need more minions to deal with it. In order to keep this wave frozen, I pull it like this. Now we look for ultimate opportunity. We ult on Corky. We save Corky. And we're gonna... Flash, kill Garen, uh, and then what we do is we instantly recall, get Divine Sunderer, go back to top lane. Um, we have a control order already, so we don't need to buy another one. But because we kept the minion wave in such a spot where uh, the opponents have like five 
five or six more minions than us. Look at what is happening to this wave. Do you realize that every time this wave stays in this position, every minute it is here, Garen is losing experience and gold. And when we get back to lane, most of the minions are still going to be there. Okay, I almost lost an entire cannon wave, but I got a kill for it in return. And look how many minions we denied Garen. Uh, the kind of the kind of pragmatic thing I want you to understand is that denying minions, denying resources from the opponent, is like almost as important as gathering them yourself. Because most of the time, like as Shen, you don't actually scale that well. This is more true once we get to uh, like higher elos, but the higher elo you go, uh, the worse Shen scales. Because you can't like uh, trust his kit to be able to deal with stuff like that. Here I'm just gonna start walking towards him. He's probably gonna get out of range because he has Q movement speed, yeah. Uh, there's a Zerath here, but I think maybe I can kill these all. I can kill them all. So I'm gonna go on Misfortune. I'm gonna ignite her, and then we get Q drag through on Garen. If he, yeah. L notice that I'm not auto attacking there because I just want to get the Q drag through. He's gonna go back, and then I'm gonna go for my wave. The wave is still being frozen. Am my perma freezing for 20 minutes? Yes. Should you be doing this? Yes. It's so crazy effective if we get lead against these champions because Shen, Shen has so many good matchups in the early game, and I'm, I'm gonna tell you like silver players, like gold players, they don't know that Shen is like one of the best early game champions in the game. Or at least in top lane. I, I'm just gonna take the experience here. I, I just want to force Garen out. Like, I'm, I'm keeping this wave frozen for the entire laning phase. I, like, what, what is Garen gonna do? He, he, he has no access to any kind of resource. I'm even denying him experience. Like, look, I'm just, I'm just pull, pushing him out of lane. And then we E back towards here so that the minions don't ever hit the tower. Because if they hit the tower, then this wave will get reset and it's gonna start shoving back towards the opponent. And we, we keep doing this. Push him out. I don't want him to get this experience right here. So I'm pushing him out. I don't mind losing last hits for this. I just don't want Garen to get any experience. Look, I'm gonna push him out. Don't. Stay away. Stay away. My lane. Then we put the blade up here aggressively. Now we have created danger zone for the opponent. Uh, this kind of creates a segment or a sector of a circle where it is dangerous for Garen to walk up. If he walks up, I can slow him with my Q. Now I'm gonna have to uh, go for a 1v2 or then just back off. That's another option. I'm fine here. I still have my shield. Uh, if I have my W, they can't dive me. No way, no way. They can't dive me. You would think that I let the wave crash here. But you would be wrong. Because I don't let this crash. I keep freezing it. I, I keep freezing it, guys. I keep freezing it. Uh... Until this happens, then we have to sidestep that, and we don't go... Ooh, oh, 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 I'm gonna be dead. No, please, sir. No! <laughs> My lead! <laughs> okay, you would be correct if I if I let that wave crash. That would be the correct thing to do. <laughs> oh, okay, fun times, fun times. Maybe it's also good to show you what is uh, freezing too much. Because I, I should have recognized that I'm in kill range once the cane comes back. And the way he was playing, he's gonna come back. He's actually quite, quite fed. He has 80 CS. Quite noticeable for a jungler at this point. The boys are just going in. I'm looking for ultimate. I don't need to ult. Everything is fine. I'm just gonna walk back. And now we have tier 2 boots. We have our um, Divine Sunder. We have two stacks of Ingenious Hunter. We need to gather some more stacks for that. But other than that, we are good. Uh, these are the kind of standard Shen runes, other than the Ingenious Hunters, so most of the time you're going Grasp. Although I have another rune patch that I want to show you, probably in the next game, uh, in Gold Elo. It depends on what matchup I get, because stuff is always matchup dependent. But we just we just don't let him last it, okay? He's going toward male first item, sure, but we just don't let him last it. He's, he's not allowed to take these minions, okay? There's no way, that's illegal if he does that. I look mid lane, maybe we can bait the opponent here. Shoo! W! Kill misfortune! Don't just ask you. Oh, thanks for the lantern. Appreciate it, buddy. They missed stun. They're killable here. Because I am Shen, I can do this. Because I am fed, I can do this. Oh, trash! That was not a prediction, right? 
Oi, 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 okay. Uh, notice what I did there. Some advanced gen stuff. So um, every time you hit an opponent uh, with an ability, so this is either your Q auto attack or your E, uh, you're gaining energy back from your E's passive. I didn't have enough energy um, to go for a taunt flash onto the Xerath. So what I did is I auto attacked the minion and then I got um, the 35 energy from it because I had a Q stack. And then I could E because I got the energy back. So I had 150. Uh, what I also would like to mention is it's really important that you guys have um, these spell, spell costs on. Kill, kill this guy, kill this guy. Corky, let's go. I'm gonna kite towards Corky. I need to be really careful. I need to passive shield here. Because uh, Garen can kill me with ultimate. Uh, we need to realize that we have the... We have a shutdown, so we don't want to be giving shutdowns for one for once. Like most of the time in solo queue, unless there's a good reason to do it, one for ones aren't uh, that useful because basically you're giving up control because you're dead. But if you can get a shutdown for it, then it's a different different story. Big damage? I don't think I can get this guy though. I need to back off. Seraph is coming. Uh, I mean Cassidin. Cassidin is uh, big. I'm gonna just taunt over the wall. He's gonna hop over and then we taunt. Never mind. I, I, I thought he was gonna rift walk over the Kragis and then we would just, uh, you know, like, swap positions, but I guess he didn't know I was there, or he didn't want to go for me. I'm getting slowed. I'm saving my E for if they want to engage onto me. It looks like I will need some magic resistance here because of the Kassadin, but I don't know if I should itemize. I'm gonna go for a Wit's End. This is, this is gonna be a very damage heavy Shen build. I'm gonna build Witch End and then I believe afterwards something with health definitely. Uh, maybe something with armor and health. So maybe like a Dead Man's Blade would be good here so that I can catch up to these opponents because I don't have that much mobility in my kit other than my E. Uh, I don't want to give Garen the chance to get this tower because these objective bounties are a clear way for the opponent to come back into the game and notice that we want to protect this shutdown if Garen makes one bad step here ooh, I made a bad step so what I did wrong there is I, I had my right clicks uh, set very far away from my champion and that meant that I got my, my pathing got blocked by minions and you can notice that I'm using my W to get divine uh, sunder procs because W is obviously a spell cast, so you can use it to get another divine thunder proc. I can I can just aggressively trade here onto the guard and maybe even kill him. That's enough, I think. We need to block stuff. Yep. Yeah. Okay, that was enough. That's good. Seraphs is in the river, but I'm not scared because uh, maybe I'm a little bit scared. I don't know if anyone else was here. We saw misfortune and Kane in the mid lane. He's gonna kill. We're gonna dodge. We can't get hit by a stun. Then we are dead. We need to dodge the stun for sure. Ouch. Okay, Yasuo. It's kind of huge. I think he dies though from the cane. No, we're fine. Down. And then maybe another kill. Ooh. Cassidy flashes over the wall. I'm looking for a recall right here because we have our wits end ready. And then let us build Deadman's play. I'm actually gonna stay. Because we can get another kill on the garden. Nice. I don't want to take this. Early inhibitors are not generally good. Because if you take an early inhibitor like this in Silver Elo, what will happen is we, we won't have enough pressure in the game to get uh, that much like use out of it. And what will happen is the enemies will start getting free farm. Because the super minions are always constantly pushing. They also give more gold to the opponent. Um, I will work towards what I said. Uh, dead mass plate, right? I could sell this. Okay, I'm gonna do something that I don't recommend, which is waiting over 20 gold, but uh, it just it just makes the back feel good right here. So we're gonna work towards a Le Dead Man's Plate. Yes, that's good. My ultimate is up in 1 minute and 20 seconds. When is the next trade coming up? It's 40 seconds, so it will be before that. I will get the top tower next, and actually I will, I will threaten the tier 2 tower as well, because Generally, like, you're not really a tower taker, but with the Divine Sunderer build, you start doing some damage because you have these constant sheen procs. 
Um, so if Garen is gonna stay here, I'm gonna kill him and then take the tower. Other than that, if he backs off, then I'll just take the tower for free. Either way, I'm taking this tower at this point because it's so low. Even if Garen stayed, like what I can do is I can just start focusing the tower and he's not gonna be able to stop me. He doesn't have enough damage because he went to my first item. Now the 1v2 will be interesting. The 1v2 will be interesting. Getting hit by that is bad. I need to flash out of Garen's range. Yeah. I heal with Divine Sunderer. Then we E back. Okay, we're fine, we're fine. We were very close to being in lethal range, but I did is I used the Divine Sunderer proc to heal a little bit so I wouldn't be in uh, Garen's ultimate skill range. Okay, Yasuo. He's doing stuff. This is fine. This is fine. The minion wave will be approaching. I'm gonna go. Yo, 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 yo. This will be. Yep, I'm out of there. I'm out of there. I did not expect Kane to be topside, I'll be honest, because I thought that Kane would be going for the mountain break. With, like, uh, there would be a battle there, so that's why I was so confident in being able to take this tower. But I guess they really want to protect it with all their life. <laughs> just, they're just really, really protective over this top lane tower. I'm just gonna recall because I have no reason to stay here. I want, what you want to do as Shen, you want to be uh, like split pushing the opposite side of the map where your team is. So right now the current objective is the top tier 1 tower and Baron. So where should we be? We are on the opposite side of the map. So we're gonna go bot lane, threaten this tower. Uh, my team is gonna threaten Baron because well, at this point they have enough damage to take it. And if there's ever a situation where they need me, I will just ultimate right there. This, this is how you play Shen. Identify the current objective, split push the opposite side of the map, and then we ult there. Or we win the sideline one v one. This is gonna be a good fight. I'm pretty sure it's gonna be a good one. I have to keep my eyes peeled for an opportunity. Let's go, Nuno. Let's go, Nuno. Oh, big taunt! Huge, massive. I have enough damage to kill him. If Kassin jumps over, he's dead. And uh, I can maybe bait Zerath to be killed here. I'm just gonna walk like this. Then Zerath might. Okay, I'm just gonna touch that. Uh, this is still killable for me. Maybe it wasn't killable. I'm sorry! <laughs> Was that an exhaust? I don't think the exhaust did much though. Hmm. I was surprised by the Zerath damage. If Misfortune is there alone, obviously I kill her. That was, that was maybe just pushing the limit a little bit too far, but I want you to recognize that um, kind of finding your limit and pushing, pushing your champion to its fullest potential is necessary in order for you to find the consistent playstyle that will get you to climb ELOs. Because if you never uh, go to that kind of um, boundary of where you make mistakes, because if you're making mistakes, it means you're pushing yourself, right? If I, if I was not making mistakes, it would mean that I'm playing at a level where where I'm kind of comfortable because I'm not putting myself into those situations where I might need just a little bit more skill than I currently have. So that's what we are doing. It's kind of uh, comparable to this... Um, um, uh, what is it called? AI... AIND... So I, go. I believe it's called... No, AIMD. AIMD. Uh, it's an internet like a packet uh, processing protocol uh, where you say that increases are additive, so additive increase, and then decreases are multiplicative. So, in order for you to take full control over some kind of resource, which in this case is your champion, you have to kind of constantly uh, additively increase the level at which are your which you're like playing at. And then uh, at some point you will find the boundary and then you will st take it back uh, a couple steps. So this way you will find find the, the limit where you're functioning at your fullest potential. And this is how most systems work. So if you think about, for example, that guy is dead and then... Uh, I don't want to take tower aggro here actually because I'm going to die. Oi, 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 the Seraph is just sniping me. I'm um, gonna finish my Deadman's Plate and then build a Control Ward. This is getting quite molly right now, quite molly indeed. Um, 
I think now we have reached the point where um, there comes some kind of error and we need to take a multiplicative um, decrease. So now we're gonna step back the aggressiveness and start playing the game properly. So I will show you how to side lane without getting yourself into danger. So, so generally what is happening here, what is wrong, is the fact that my uh, team is grouping around me. Now it might be intuitive for them to think, okay, Shen is strong, so I'm gonna play around Shen. But that's not how you should approach this champion. What we want to do is we want to create isolated, it's like basketball, so if you know basketball, there's this um, play type called isolation, where the, the offensive team um, like on purpose creates a 1v1 situation because they know they have a strong player in one position. So they create the isolation and then in that isolation uh, the split pusher here, Shen, or the strong player, the point guard or whatever, because we trust uh, his skill, we trust that we are fed at this point, uh, then he can play the matchup in an isolated way. Garen has no way of beating me here, he only has uh, the option of running away. And I think he... Ooh, he went for a loop around. Okay, 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 I like it. I, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna have to look the bot lane at the same time. So that uh, my team doesn't die. I'm just gonna... I think I'm just gonna keep chasing Garen. I'm gonna spam ultimate on Yone. Ah, uh, uh, Yasuo, sorry. Ooh, that's not gonna be enough though. I'm gonna keep running there. My shield was not big enough to make him survive. They had a lot of damage there. Mm, it was probably a mistake to try to ult the Yasuo. I'm gonna keep running though. I think I can catch catch them here. We see Garen. Uh, Cousin is low. I'm gonna keep going for Cousin. He's fine. I'm gonna get misfortune at least. I think I can catch up to him. I have my E up. Oh no, not the 1v2 again. I'm gonna focus the game. Oi, 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 they have Ignite and the ultimate and everything. Okay, this is getting spicy, this is getting spicy. I like it, I like it, I like it. We are supposed to play passively, but unfortunately we did not do that. Uh, I wonder, we have to analyze what happened. So we we kind of prioritized getting the kill onto Garen over everything else. What we needed to prioritize was fighting the wave in the top lane, right? We didn't need to prioritize killing the opponent. Because, like, what 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 is Garen worth at this point? Garen is not worth much. I think I will finish this build off as 4 titan Titanic Hydra, just to emphasize the split pushing power. This, you know, this is a mistake. Okay, I'm gonna tell you, even if you're going for Titanic Hydra, you have 1200 gold. The Giant's belt is going to be better than the Tiamat. Because 25 AD on Shen actually does nothing. And you can still clear waves without the Tiamat um, splash. And the Tiamat splash in itself is not that, like, important. So I would I would always kind of rather go for the giant's belt uh, than the Tiamat because I just don't find Tiamat to be a good item on Shen. The opponents kind of keep keep grouping to where I want to be. Let's see how we want to play this. We need to get some like control over here. I'm thinking that they're probably on Baron right now, which they are. What, what what HP is it? Maybe I can steal it. I don't have smite though. Because I'm a top laner. <laughs> we can we can make this work. We can make this work. I'm gonna control what this. Okay, big snowball. This is good, this is good. We catch misfortune. Oh well, misfortune's dead. I'm gonna back off a little bit. Watch Corky, watch Corky. Corky needs my ultimate probably. Okay, Corky's fine. I'm not gonna chase those two because I've already died like Three times to chase him, Garen and Kane. They just keep one uh, two v running me. The, the thing is that if I focus, okay, yes, now we ult. Yeah, we kill them. We kill them. We kill them. Let's go. Ay, 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 ay. I think I have enough range. Yeah. Oh, he has flash. Oh no, <laughs> he has no flash in the wall. <laughs> Unfortunate. Happens. Happens. Don't worry about it. Mistakes are allowed. I'm gonna run to the bot lane now. My ultimate will be up in two minutes. Um, the, the ult on to Korki was uh, a bit optimistic, might have been. I'm gonna try to catch the Kassadin. We have our dead mass play, so we have a way of catching up with these opponents. Mm, 
never mind, because he's casting, he has uh, flash of four second cooldown. Actually, more like two seconds at this point. When he's level 16, this game will be more difficult. But it's good, it's good. Because these games are not supposed to be easy. And it's not like every game is gonna be 20 minutes render, so showing you how, how the games kind of actually go, or simulating what your games look like, might be the most educational way of showing how to climb in ELO. I would like for team to go for uh, the Baron, but I don't think that will happen. Good hook effort. I'm scared about this though. The Cassidy is just so, so strong. 9-4-4, four, four. and he's quite tanky because he went for um, Crown of the Shatter. Oh wait, Ashes is going. Double taunt! Okay, Corgi damage was crazy. But now we keep pushing, we keep pushing. Nuno is going to mid lane. I respect it. I don't think he should go for that, but uh, it's fine. We should go for Mountain Track. That's a Mountain Soul that we have, by the way. I, we're gonna take the tower, and then we pivot the soul. Good effort, good try. We shouldn't overcommit. I'm, I'm getting out of here, I'm getting out of here. Okay, we go, we go soul. I don't care that my team is doing the wrong thing, okay? I'm not gonna follow their bad call. Because the right call, 100% is to just take this mountain soul. When you think about it, when you, when you can just choose between putting yourself at risk or getting a free objective, which in this case is a huge objective because it's a soul, then why not take the free objective? We're talking about consistency, because climbing is all about consistency. You need to make the same good uh, choices every game over thousands of, okay, maybe hundreds, maybe thousands of games. Now we recall, we get our Titanic, okay, Yasuo's going in. Let's fight it then, let's fight it. Let's see what we got. Rampage. Cassidy is here though. Maybe you can catch Seraph or something. Uh, I don't really like this. <laughs> I really don't like it. I'm gonna take the recall now, finally. Titanic Hydra. Last item? Last item, last item. I, I kind of like, kind of want tenacity, but I'm not gonna get it from any item. I can get it from the elixir then. Let's finish it off with the Sterax Gage, okay? Sterax Gage, not even bad here, I think. Yeah, I think it's generally fine. Because we have we have health AD kind of already built, built in here, because we're getting. Um, we're getting bonus AD from bonus health from Titanic Hydra, so why not uh, why not go for Sterax Gage? The item that I was thinking about was Gargoyle Stoneplate, but I actually think I prefer Sterax Gage in this position because um, I just feel like it also gives me some some offensive stuff, and I feel like I need the offensive power in order to carry this game. It's not necessarily true, but that's how I feel like at the moment. I don't want to take any like super um, risky fights. But a 1v2 is fine, I think. 1v3 is not fine. I'm just gonna chill for a little bit. Maybe clear the wave or something. Try to front the garden. I don't wanna overextend. I'm just kinda feeling them out, feeling them out. Maybe can... Okay, okay, I'm going for this. Oh no! She flashed. It's fine. Okay, we win, we win, we win. Now we end. Go end, go end. Maybe someone can cancel his recall, and then we end. We hop over the plant. Dodge it. <laughs> Bonk. Can we end? We have a minion wave over here. I'm gonna clear the minions so our minion wave gets here. We have 10 seconds on Kane. It is endable. Let's try it, let's try it, let's try it. We have to use our Sunder approach correctly. Hey, Yasuo, Yasuo, Yasuo. Let's end the game. Okay? Yeah. He's, on, he's with me, he's with me. Hey, hey, Yasuo, for, uh, let's end the game. <laughs> you wanna get out of this game sometime? Okay, I'm gonna keep going. Bound him before he can ultimate. Okay, actually, you know what, uh, Yasuo, you can, you can go yourself. <laughs> 
<laughs> After furiously pinging him to come help me, I just leave him alone. Sometimes, okay, most of the time, you have to be a little bit selfish in solo queue. Because you are, you are the person who um, is gonna make it or break it, you know? Because you're the only consistent factor in your games. So why not channel kind of resources into the consistent factor? Because all of these other players, they're, they're unpredictable. You don't know what they will do. If you're confident in yourself, and I feel like the solo queue attitude should be to kind of only improve yourself, okay? You don't care about anything. You might notice I don't have my chat enabled. I don't play ranked with chat enabled because chat is not going to be useful. It's only going to distract me from the kind of main purpose, which is to improve myself. We're finally going to finish our full build. This will be absolutely massive what we are getting right here. There are skates, and then we will run the top lane. Now, I'm going to ask you, why top lane? Answer. Answer right now. Write it in the comments. Why top lane? At 36 minutes in the first game, why are we going to top lane? You have to know this. I've taught you so many times. At least. Okay. Current objective will be Ellen Elder Dragon in two minutes. We need to take control over the bot side uh, kind of uh, jungle. So we have vision over there. And then we're gonna be going for the Elder. So what we want to do is we want to split push the opposite side of the map. In this case, top lane. Yes. Now we look to see if our team needs us. Generally, like I would like to delay this fight as much as possible because they have to respond to me. And right now, I'm full build. I'm strong. I can 1v2 pretty confidently. So if we can delay the fight as much as possible, that will make it good for the opponent because the opponents are on a clock right here. Not me. Let's look at the Yasuo though. Let's go. Okay, instead. This Gorky does massive damage, by the way. Okay, we're ending the game now. Uh, focus next. We got this. <laughs> it just flashes. Okay, Yasuo out of tower. End the game! Nice. That's game one done. And next up will be Goldie Low. Okay, this is Axpeto from the future, and I want to show you a statistic about my subscribers, alright? So, did you know that 100% of my subscribers are subscribed to my channel? <laughs> I bet you didn't know that one. <laughs> this, this statistic will surely convince you to subscribe to my channel. Big red button, yes? Looking very juicy. Maybe click it, yes? Okay, let's go to the next game. Greetings and welcome to the second game of how to actually climb to diamond with Shen. This game we are playing in around gold elo and we are facing a gangplank. But we are running one of my favorite technologies this season, the Ghost Innovation Tech. So what Ghost allows us to do is allows us to have more mobility. And more mobility equals more damage. It also equals more health because you can dodge stuff. You can you can catch the opponent off guard and sometimes Ghost will actually result in more kind of kill possibilities than Ignite because it allows me to go for kind of um, plays that are otherwise not possible. Right? There's a... <laughs> what? Two jeans? <laughs> so so I really like Ghost and, and I especially like Ghost combined with the Frostfire plus Demon... Uh, demonic Embrace combo. The Demon Fire combo, as you would like to call it. I'm gonna give this guy only a 3 out of the leash because I don't wanna go back to lane. Mate, you're already behind for your own buff. I'm not gonna leash that much for him. Okay, that's it. You get 3 out of then I'm going back to lane. Sometimes I, I, I like to advise to get the, give the full like 3Q leash, where you get 6Q out of and a passive shield. But lately, what I've been realizing, is that you lose a little bit of lane pressure for doing that. And not just a little bit, actually. In some matchups, it's the, it's the difference between like having to play passively for the uh, first five minutes of the game or then being aggressive. You can get into um, range and auto-attack the minions at level one. But in this game, I, I have a special thing that I want to do. I have a list of ten rules that I believe are um, important for climbing in solo queue. And as we play the game, I'm gonna drop these rules, or like explain them uh, throughout the course of the game. So let's just start with rule number one. Rule number one is to disable chat completely and communicate with things. Now we have already done this, right? It's an interface, 
we go down here to chat and we have disabled all chat and allied chat. This is because I generally think it takes away from your concentration on the important parts of the game and I have to eat out of there because I don't want to take the damage from that barrel combo. We have our W now so we can block his Q. And then we get this battle. <laughs> Versus GP it's so important to deny battles. And if, if you can conf confidently deny battles you will win the matchup. But some players are just so good, maybe there are GP one trick ponies at diamond level that uh, it's very hard to deny battles against them. I got a grasp proc there, so I'm not mad. I'm mad about missing the taunt, I mean. I'm gonna need to get a, a bar down very soon. I'm gonna probably W this, yep. So he wastes his first strike there. I mean, I think he still gets 5 gold from it, but at least he doesn't get extra gold from doing damage because he didn't do any, haha. <laughs> Now I'm gonna get a warp down so that we don't get caught up. Oh, well, there we go. Time is here. I'm just gonna walk out and recall. The wave will eventually slow push towards me. It's gonna take a while because I couldn't get it to crash. <laughs> really? You're just that mad at me that you have to cancel my recall. Yeah, like I said, it's eventually gonna slow. <laughs> hey! Hey! This is illegal what she's doing, man! You go, you, I dare you. I dare you, bro. Go for it. What? No, I didn't get her into tower rage. Okay. Now, yo. Okay. Diana, you win this round. You win this round, but not next round. Next round, you're dying. <laughs> I thought I could catch her under tower and kill her there, or at least blow a flash. Man. Man. <laughs> that dude just wasted half a minute stopping my recall. I mean, it wasn't waste. He got my flash. Respect. Maybe he just knew that I'm weak mental player. Yo, y you go for this. I dare you. I dare you to go for this, by the way. I I, I dare you to go for this. You dirty boys. You, <laughs> you can't be doing this on my watch. Ghosting! <laughs> Get out of my lane. This is Axe Petos, How to Climb to Diamond video season 12 popping off as usual. <laughs> What a banger. I've been playing League all day, man, and this is the best game so far. <laughs> no, actually, I lied. There was one better game. Alright, let me get my headset back on. I went completely ape mode right now. Resetting mental. Okay. It's time to drop rule number two of the Climber's Guide. Assume that every game is winnable until one of the Nexus explodes. Okay, we go for this. We go, we go. Let's go. Let's do it. I'm ready to go. We maul him. We maul him. Broom, 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 broom. Bye bye, Twitch. Bye bye. Okay, one more. One more. Can I get in the raid? Ooh, you made a mistake, buddy. Hey, Diana, I win this round. I won last round as well. <laughs> Two seconds. Maybe bait a little bit to get her back in. And then we root. And then we. Badonk, badonk. Okay. Rule number three. When you have to choose between similar plays, choose the play with the fewest unknown variables. If you can go for a solo kill, go for it when the opponent uh, opposing jungler is visible instead of when uh, he or she is not visible. Um, Frostfire Gauntlet this game? I'm pretty sure. Yo, what if... Hey, 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 what if Boots of Sweetness? Yeah? No. We're not going for it. I was thinking about it, but not going for it. I'll just go back to lane. Because I believe I'm going to need Merc Threads to 1v9 this game. Okay? Because they have Lulu Polymorph, they have Team of Blind. Wait, that's it. That's all the CCs they have. K kind of like CCs that need to be reduced by... Hmm... I mean, actually... Actually, Swiftness Boot might be good here. Because they, Gangplank has slow... Two slows, actually. E and Ultimate. Diana's ultimate slows, right? After the um, knock up, knock back, I guess. Draw in. Then uh, Lulu will have slows and Twitch has slows. I think Swiftness boots, Swiftness boots are actually not bad this game. I, I might go for them. Let's see, let's see. For Force of Nature is a banger this game for sure. I got a grass proc. It's worth. I got some HP. Try me. I want to get an aggressive control work next. Okay, I'm gonna win this battle. Oh, I didn't win it. 
Ah, I want it. <laughs> My battle's now, boy. Let's do the tower crash taunt. If you guys don't know what the tower crash taunt is, let me show you. You do this. Uh, that was not it. You need to get the... Ooh, yo, 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 yo. Chill, chill, GP, chill. I'm gonna use Q uh, to activate my key barrier to block the passive shield. There's some furious pinging going on in the background. I'm gonna still keep going for this. Try me. Hit me. W. Bye bye, first strike. Look mid lane. Yeah, I'm going swiftness boots. Le legit. I'm going swiftness boots. And then. Or steel caps? Because this guy. Uh, it's so hard to decide. Try me. Go for a Q. I dare you. Yo, I, that's not what I wanted. <laughs> nope. Was that a crit? That was a that was a crit, dude. That could have been bad. That could have been bad for me. Hey, I have enough for Frostfire. I'm gonna get out of here. I'm gonna purchase my Frostfire, get back to top lane, and I, I think we have to go for Steel Caps. The, the, the Swiftness boosts are just not valuable enough for me to kind of um, give up my Steel Caps. Because it's gonna be useful versus uh, Twitch and GP. If I'm not mistaken, it should reduce the damage from GP's barrels. Because they are they trigger on hit effects, but I'm not 100% sure that actually... Someone needs to test that. I, I'm not sure how the interaction goes. Oh, we can actually freeze this. This is so good, by the way. Oh, I mean, it freezes, like, <laughs> basically by itself. Okay, now we just want to last hit these ones. Fuck. Take it easy, take it easy. Deep is gonna have to TP, or then he loses a lot. You know what? I think it's time... To drop rule number four of the solo queue rules. Take risks when behind and avoid risks when ahead. Alright? So when we are ahead we want to avoid risks. Why? Because we don't want to give the opposing team chances to come back into the game. Right now I have a 400 gold shutdown on me. I don't want to give that shutdown to the GP. I want to take plays that are consistent. That are consistently good. But I don't want to take risky plays. I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm coming. Graves. I'm coming. But I didn't want to ult though. Like, I, I didn't want to ult. Let's go, I'm ghosting. Um, I'm dominating. I, I can ult on the Nico. Let's go. Shoo! Boom! We're seven and one. It's time to unleash demon fire, Shen. Rule number five. Forgive your mistakes, but hold yourself accountable. It's okay to make mistakes. You should not be tilted by making mistakes. But if you do make a mistake, and you will, then how I approach it is, okay, that's something I need to work on. You have to hold yourself accountable. You can't just give leeway about every single mistake that you do. I'm winning that. Oh, I'm not. I'm not winning it. I repeat, I'm not. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna control ward this. I wanted to get an offensive control ward, but it's just been such mayhem that I haven't got a chance to do that. I'm gonna block uh, his Q with my W. Classic. Always when you E in, you want to first trigger the battle. Here I could even Q flash and try to go for a kill, but it's alright like this. I'm gonna hit the um, cannon. Chop. Chop. Okay, okay, stealthy, stealthy, I like it, sneaky. But he could have done that better, he could have done a, a two-part combo. You go for that minion, I taunt you. You go for that minion, I taunt you. Yo, chill. Dan is both sides, so I can do whatever I want in top lane. Yo, he just used taunt. Uh, I mean, oranges. <laughs> he used oranges. <laughs> and that means I could go in for a taunt. But it's kind of scary, no? It's kind of scary. Oh, chill. Oh, GP, no, stop it. 
Listen, listen I, I really don't want to hurt you, GP. It's, it's not like that. I just want to show my viewers how to climb, okay? It, it's nothing personal, bro. It's nothing personal. It's nothing personal, I said. <laughs> I just want to show my viewers how to beat the matchup, okay? It's not like that, bro. Yo, he's really poking me out, though. I think I have to recall. I have so much cold. I can buy the aforementioned uh, plated steel caps, or as I like to call them, <laughs> Ninja Tabi. And then we work our way towards um, Demonic Embrace. Time spelt. Mm -hmm. oh, I'm just gonna go for control ward. I'm not gonna wait for the amplifying tone. We don't need to do that right now. It would uh, just convert my adaptive damage into AP as well, which is not necessarily always a good thing at this point. And I just want to get to lane as soon. Oh, oh, look, bot lane. I go, I go. You're fine, you're fine, you're fine. Let's go. Wanted to bait them as long as possible. Big. Maybe big, maybe huge. I'm playing it, I'm playing it patient, I'm playing it patient. That was not patient, Petu, that was not patient, I missed my Q flash. Yo, why can't I slow these people? Get out of here! I'm getting you! Slow! One more! One more out of it! Let me get this guy! Bonk! Double kill! Okay! Okay, buddy! That was really bad. My flash was so bad. I should have just focused on getting the... Uh, I wanted to go for like a, a nasty taunt flash play, but instead you should just go for it patiently, right? You don't need to go for anything nasty. I could have just taunted a Twitch and started out attacking him, and then saved my flash for something better. There were opportunities to get a 3 month taunt flash, but I, I wasn't confident enough. I'm sorry, I let you guys down. I know, I know. The geometry was there. It was definitely possible. GP got first tower. Hmm. I'm taking this wave, by the way. I'm, I'm, I'm going carry mode. Okay, okay, fine, 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 fine. Um, I mean, should we go for this? Oh, yeah, I think we should. It's good to get the trade. How much is demonic embrace? Is it 2.1k? We need uh, 800 gold. Let me farm 800 gold and then we do stuff. I think, I think it's time to drop rule number six. Identify the win conditions of both teams and play accordingly. All right. Who is our win condition right now? Okay, you would say me. No, our win condition is the Ocean Soul. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure that's what we are gonna win through. We have other options as well, like just just uh, getting Baron and pushing, and then uh, using my uh, lead to kind of split push. Play maybe three one one with Nico. Uh, 311 refers to like having three people in the same lane, one people in one lane, or one, one person in one lane and one person in another. 401 could work as well. But uh, I feel like Ocean Soul is the easiest way. And for the opposing team, what's their win condition? I think it's Twitch. I, I, I'm not sure about the GP. He, he, has, he has done some like three part battles. So, so he knows a little bit about the champion at least. And, but I feel like, I feel like Twitch is the, the carry because they have Lulu, Demo is not a problem, <laughs> I mean, <laughs> this dude is a problem, okay, we ult on Jin, we fight this, we fight this, double taunt, I'm, I'm polymorphed though, we're fighting, I'm gonna kite out a little bit, it seems a little bit hard, hard to fight, I'm gonna get one, and then we, it's huge! <laughs> Yo, I'm going absolutely crazy. <laughs> Let me get the uh, demonic impression right here, Virico. Alright, that's good. Nah, that, that, that taunt was something else, bro. Uh, that was something else. Demonic impress, sustained damage. Then we go Force of Nature. Just to get more movement speed. It's really good here. Uh, I think it's really good. Because Force of Nature basically says that, okay, Diana, Teemo, and Lulu will do no damage to me. That, that's how good this item is. Look, it gives you 70 magic resist and reduces 25% of magic damage while you're at st um, 6 stacks. And if you look at their uh, champions, they have, they have so many kind of rapid application abilities where I will stack up Force of Nature really quickly. Like, for example, Twitch is going to be attacking me a lot. It's... Oh, it's taking magic damage from an enemy champion. Yeah, 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 okay. 
Hey, wait, which poison is true damage? But at least Teemo poison will trigger it pretty fast. I'm just gonna fake out there. Yo, team, just, just relax while I have my ultimate on cooldown. Remember, hit the barrel first. I'm gonna go kill this guy, by the way. Oh, yo, 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 yo. Did I just lose the game? Unless? Unless? Yo, is this warded or what? No way! I, who just got the shutdown? Twitch just got 1k gold. What did I do? Why did I go for that play? Yo, didn't I say? Yo, didn't I just say? Rule number four. Take risk when behind and avoid risks when ahead. What did Axe to do? We took a risk while we were ahead. Hm? Listen to your own lectures, bro. Alright, rule number seven. This is outside of the game. Stop playing for the day if you lose two games in a row. This originates from optimal stopping problems, uh, a, a branch of mathematics, optimization, kind of computer science as well. And we're basically... Okay, big. What we're saying is we're minimizing the chances. I'm gonna get this, by the way. And then we go in. Why was everyone top line that game? If Twitch wasn't there, I, 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 I killed the Diana, though. I'm confident in that. Timo's dead. Nice. Triple kill on Nico. I have a Herald. Do we just smash down the Herald in the mid lane? No, we go for Ocean Drake. No risk. No unnecessary risk. Yo, yo, this guy, this guy, this guy. Diana, you're mine. Hey! She pulled a fast on one on me. I'm in rage to slow. She's gonna polymorph me. Yo, she just flashed. Yo, Lulu just flashed. Chief? Confirm? Let's get this ocean back though. So, if you always stop playing after losing two games, it's just gonna minimize the chances that you're playing while tilted. So, so sometimes, some games are, some days are just not good. Some days you will just lose. So, why not cut, cut those losses at two max each day? But if you're winning three games in a row, don't stop playing, man. Keep playing. But then, when you lose two games in a row, then it's time, time, to, time to switch up. They're gonna steal this. I have a feeling they're gonna steal this. Oh, God damn it. <laughs> ah. Our jungler used smite on something. <laughs> and something was not the dragon, I'll tell you that much. Okay, yo, yo. Okay, maybe I get it with burn. No, I don't. Kill this dude. Junk. Mine now. 1650 for um, Le Force of Nature. I can get sell this for almost 200, 180. And um, so maybe picking up this wave will be enough. No, I'll get the next wave as well, then we're good. Jack. Good one, Nico. I'm, I'm looking to old Nico. F2 is my fast button. Let me just get this real quick. 1650. Uh, I need one more wave or something. Just just a little bit of gold. It's kind of risky. I'm gonna do it anyway, so let me get this. So I I'm not gonna die here, because if someone shows up, then I just ghost and E out instead. I have prepared my muscles, so now I'm ready to do it whenever. Okay, now we have enough. Okay, it's good, it's good, it's good. We're strong, we're, we're super strong, we're super strong. We have 80 um, seconds on I have the Herald. We have to solo carry this game, by the way. There's no other option. Shadows. We could... Yo, 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 get this, get this. Let's go. Uh, let's go, let's go, uh, let's go. I'm here, I'm here, I have ult. Let's do it. I'm ghosting. Uh, do you have flash? You're dead. Alright, good. I'm gonna drop the Herald in top lane and then we go mid lane. Maybe Herald will do stuff here. I'm just, you're just gonna do stuff there and then I'm gonna go mid lane. Alright, we're huge. Massive demon fire angle. 
Uh, let's go behind them, try to catch them off guard. I don't have ghost though, so my mobility is a bit bad. And they saw me as well. Game oh. I got the slow. Bonk. 14 kills. Let's do this, let's do this. Team, 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 let's go for it. Yo, it's free, it's free, it's free, it's free. I'm spamming, it's so important to ping. Rule number one, guys. Communicate with pings. No, 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 team. You are not supposed to do this. Nico, maybe big. Uh, Twitch flashes. Maybe they face check this. Right here? Yo, what they knew. They had vision. Big! Big taunt! Nice one! Let's go, team! GP is somewhere. Ouch. It's fine, I have force of nature, I'm not taking any damage. Uh, I need armor next. I can kill this dude. No, you don't do those. Actually, I'm not gonna take risks. Don't take risk while ahead. Listen, listen, remember, Petu? Focus. We're climbing, we're climbing. Full focus. Need armor. Is Randu's omen good? Randu's omen? Mm. No, what if Anathema's chains? Yes. This is good. This is good. This is huge. We use Anathema's on Twitch, then we are golden. I have ulti, I have ulti. We can do stuff. If they die, it's over for them. Let's go. Nico, flash, flash. No, you flash too late, bro. <laughs> you have to flash before. <laughs> hey, hey. Why my boy getting one shot? This dude is two and this dude is one and five on GP, and my Morgana just got one shot. I guess that's uh, season twelve for you. Get out of here. Yo, yo, this is not good. This is not good. I W, I W. It's okay. I'm blocking stuff. Twitch is doing stuff. Bonk. There's another shroom here. Um, yo. Ocean Drake is up in 30, but we didn't get the last one. <laughs> oh yeah, I got GP stole it. I remember what happened. <laughs> I remember what happened. It was a complete disaster. Just like any other play that we've done this game. Just kidding. Um... I just need my anathemas, then we're good. I think they might have taken Baron, by the way. I think Baron might be gone. But it's a, it's a valuable... Um, vali <laughs> valiant uh, sacrifice. Yeah, they got it. We'll take Baron for it. No, I mean, Dragon for it. It's not the end of the world. Okay, I'm gonna reco for Kindle Gem. Then we need 800 to finish this. Uh, once we get Anathemas, I think the last item should be armor, so last item could be Randu Shaman. But I think Anathemas is more valuable at this point, because it's gonna be Twitch who does the damage to me. That, that's, that's sure, that, like, I'm not percent sure about it. Uh, GP is not a problem for me yet, but it's a problem for my team. But then I might be surprised and get one shot by GP barrel, because you never know, this, uh, this champion is a bit obnoxious sometimes. I'm looking at this. No! No, you just need to pay it. Okay, it, it was my bad, it was my bad actually, because I didn't ping. Like, you need to be pinging when you go for these places, Shen. I'm blinded. I'm ghosting out. Um, yo, 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 no. I will not accept this loss. We will win this. We will win this. But they have polymorph. They have polymorph. You're not gonna catch up to me, by the way. I'm, I'm wasting their time. Yep. Maybe team does something good. Yo! Yo, 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 yo. No, 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 no. I will not accept this loss. We will. We, I'm showing you how to climb, so I will show you how to climb. Let's focus, let's focus. We have 50 on our ultimate. We can give up the inhibitor, it's okay, it's not the end of the world. If we can get taunt on t Twitch though. Taunt on Twitch here? No. They have Lulu there. The Lulu is a problem. Lulu is a real problem for me. Because Polymorph can just screw me over. Yo, that dude just took all his HP. Yeah, I'm pretty sure Plater Steel Cups doesn't um, reduce the GP battle damage. Now that I think about it, because you can't block it with W either. 
3 minutes on ocean track. That's a win condition for us, like I said. Remember to identify win conditions. I'm gonna drop rule number 8 right here. You're gonna play two champions in ranked, okay? You have one champion, which is your primary champion. And then you have another, which is your secondary. If your primary champion is open, you're gonna pick it every time, okay? If it is banned or picked, then you will pick your secondary champion. So if Shen is your primary champion, let's say Trundle is your secondary champion. If one of them is open, you're picking Shen. Or if both of them are open, you're picking Shen. Kill this dude, kill this dude. Uh, he, he can't be allowed to do this. Okay, uh, Morgana died. Nico, uh, I have ulti. We need to get Twitch though. Oh, uh, we couldn't. Good, good deny on the battle. Uh, I don't know if we can catch anyone. I'm gonna recall, I'm, I need to defend this. I have Anatemas, need to use it on Twitch as soon as I see Twitch. Okay. This and then control ward, um, and then maybe even the oh no, far side. Uh, let's get this. Yeah, yeah, this is fine. Oh, Twitch, where is I need to get vision. I'm, I'm, spam I'm spamming Anathemas. I need to get vision of Twitch. I should have used it already. No, I don't see him. I wanted to get it off as soon as possible because it, it, it needs a while to stack up, right? So, so if you can get it off as soon as you purchase the item, it's good. Um, I should probably be splitting top lane now. Hey, I, I got vision of Twitch. Yeah, I got Anathemas on him. Alright. Don't fight, don't fight, don't fight, don't fight. This is bad, this is bad. Look, I, I don't have my ultimate. Team, don't fight. Okay. This is not good. I don't have my ultimate yet. I'm pinging my ulti. Play around my ultimate. Uh, if your secondary champion is uh, picked or banned, then you're dodging the game. You only play two champions, trust me, you will climb. You are, you are minimizing all the free losses that you are taking by picking champions that you don't know actually how to play. A sound. Hey, hey, Diana. You wanna go? Is this a bait? Is this a bait? Yes, it is. I'm ghosting out of here. I'm not gonna take the fight. That they want, okay? I'm not gonna take the fight that they want. Psych! I'm going back in. No, I'm not. Ha! They wasted Lulu ulti for me. <gasps> we get Ocean Soul for this, maybe? 15 seconds? I'm pranking them. I I'm just keeping them busy, okay? We're, we're not gonna die here. We're keeping them busy. Yo, if I get Ocean Soul, it's so big. It's so huge. No, you don't, you don't kill me, by the way. You're, you're... Jin? Huge! Big! Is Twitch alive? Twitch is dead! No! Diana stole it! Ah! Uh, I don't have energy. Get this dude. Uh, what do I need? What do I need? What do I need? I need armor. I need armor. Thormel is really good. No, 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 no. Randuins is better. I'm pretty sure Randuins is better. Get this, get this demo. Get this rat. Bonk. Okay, I'm gonna real core. Uh, yo, 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 can we get Baron? Can we, can we get Baron? Let's go for it. Oh man, I really wanted us to get that Ocean Soul. Uh, it's whatever. I guess they just ran directly. I should have maybe uh, even died top lane for. No, I don't think it would have been worth it. If I died, it's such a massive, massive, <laughs> massive, massive bounty that I'm giving. Uh, but can we, like, do something? I feel like our wave clear is so bad because we're getting shoved in in every lane. Mm. Let's get vision. Alright, I'm gonna purchase Warden's Mail. And um, maybe I'll even go. I'm gonna go Elixir right at this point. Because it gives me tenacity. I think it's fine here. Because the next fight will be pretty deciding. So I'd like to have direct power, because the next power spike that I have requires 1200 gold. So I'd rather have this power right now. I'm just gonna delay my randoms by a little bit. 
um, in order to just have this momentary boost of power with the elixir. Okay. Are they going for it? They're going for it. Let's do it. Let's fight for it. I'm going on Nico. Yes, we got Twitch. We got Twitch. Let's get Lulu. No, GP's in the back lines. He one shot one of us. Let's go for this. No, 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 no. Stop, stop, stop chasing. Let's do this. No, we need to kill Diana though. We need to kill Diana. I'm actually choking because uh, the Diana is gonna steal it. I just know. Diana is gonna steal it otherwise. Okay, whatever. Let's try it. No. No, 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 no. I'm gonna get this dude. I got him with the taunt. I read his movement. Yeah, I read his movement. No, he's not getting away. How is my team dying to this, by the way? <laughs> okay, okay. I, I don't know if I do enough damage, by the way. Like, I don't know if I can carry this with this damage that I'm doing. Did I need to go for Titanic Hydra this game? I don't know, I don't know. Is the Randu's Omen gonna be enough as the last Titan? This is difficult, this is very difficult. Because my damage is falling off all the time right now, it's falling off so hard. Force of nature, but I think this build was correct. You know what I can do? I can um, sell my Frostfire for a Sunfire Ages actually. Yo, let's go for this. He has reduced tenacity while around me. I'm getting this Lulu as well. I have Ghost Extension. I'm getting this kill. I'm not being stopped. Yep, I'm not being stopped. I'm going for team as well. I'm going for these dudes. Let's go Baron, let's go Baron, let's do it. Yo, 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 we're taking heavy artillery. Uh, 50 seconds until Ocean Soul. Let's do this though. We can do it, we can do it. I believe. We have a moment of power here. Oh, opportunity, opportunity. Let's do it. We turn on them if they come. We turn on them if they come. We need to use our power. Okay, okay, okay. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Deny battles, someone, please. Yes, deny battles, good. Go on this, go on this dude. I'm gonna keep DPSing the Baron. They don't have Twitch. Okay, 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 it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. It's good. Kill Diana. Yes. Then we get Baron. Go, 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 go. Go for soul. Soul, 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 soul. Insta, insta, insta. Team, team, let's ping. Okay. Rule number nine. Never play ranked when you are tired, angry, or anxious. So basically, if you're experiencing any negative emotion, don't play ranked. Because chances are... You're not gonna play at your best, and you're also not gonna um, enjoy the game as much when you're tilted already before starting the game. Alright. Rico. Finish the randoins. We are quite omega huge right now. I'm thinking if there's... Okay, I'm just gonna go Elixir of Iron, and then we start thinking about... Uh, okay, what if... No, we don't have enough yet. Okay, this is fine. This is fine. This is fine for now. Uh, do we go bot side? Mm. I'm pretty much unkillable at this point, right? I don't see how I die with, with uh, Ocean Soul. It gives me 500 HP over 4 seconds when I damage an opponent. So I'm healing 100 HP per second. Yeah, I don't see how can they can kill me. Yeah, no, I don't see it. I don't see it. The Ghost is really good for scaling here. I'm just gonna go boom boom on them right now. Boom boom. Diana is in top. I don't care about last hits at this point. No, no, you can't do that. That's illegal. That's illegal, bro. I'm getting you. No, no, no. Wait, I'm actually dying this, dude. No, I'm not. Just psych. Yo, 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 chill, chill, chill. I'm still alive. I, I'm healing, I'm healing, I'm healing. It was good, it was good. Uh, can I get out somehow? Nico's over here. Oh, Diana's coming. I don't want to face Diana. I'm actually gonna recall. Yo, 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 I can just recall. It's good. Let's rev up in base. Maybe sell this. No, I don't have enough yet. Okay, we go mid. Go, go for this, go for this. I have ultimate. 
go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh, we could have gone for that. Uh, it was a clear E on the Diana. She she is forced to use Sonya there if we play it. Mm. Should I keep? Yeah, I think this is correct to be kept on Twitch though. I think it is correct. I could maybe even put it on Diana, but I think Twitch will do more damage in team fights to me. And it's more important to kill Twitch because Twitch can literally just one shot our entire team. Although Diana can kind of do the same. <laughs> I'm gonna drop rule number 10 when we finish the game, alright? Yep, I'm pushing. Baron buff is gonna run out though. It's all on me, it's all on me. We need to catch them here. This is our shot, our opportunity. Seize everything you ever wanted, one moment. Just capture it, or just let it slip. Yo, his palms are sweaty! Kill this thing already. There's rooms on the ground. Gangplank's Barelli. He's nervous, but on the surface he looks calm and ready. To kill the tower! Surprise! Timo is dead already. Whew. We, we end here, we end here. Ah, uh, we don't have a minion wave. We need to kill this battle. Wait! That dude just died. Where's the GP? Where's the GP? We don't have a wave. I got anathemas on that Twitch. I'm gonna tank this, I'm so tanky. No, you don't get the combo. Hey, hey, hey! Was it my Twitch full HP? Yo, where'd my AD go? Hmm? My AD go boom? Hey, hey team. I saw Twitch's position from Lulu's uh, Q. Why my AD go boom, hmm? I'm killing this Twitch. No, this is too risky. Let's get out. It's too risky. But what is the item that I'm go gonna go for? I think I need the... Okay, yo, 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 you can't be doing this. No. That's legal. Two minutes under Elder. Whew. Sheesh. Whew. Oh, what are we doing? Yo, can we go for some other mythic, by the way? Can we go for some other mythic? Because we don't necessarily need wave clear at this point. Okay, let's think about this. This is actually insane problem right here. What, what mythic should we go for? Mm. Mm. I don't know, I think... Wait, maybe even Shroud. Okay, okay, maybe even Shroud. No? I'm gonna build ages. Maybe it's good? Yeah? No, we need to go earlier. Ah, that was waste of my ultimate. That was here. Let's up mid lane. No. no. No, 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 team, 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 what is going on? I don't think that's good. Is it? We blew a flash. We blew a flash. Maybe it was good. Okay, go team. Can we get something? It's 50 until Elder. My split push is so bad, I, I think I, I I think I might need the Titanic Hydra, but I'm not sure what items to sell for it. Should I sell my Anathemas? Maybe Anathemas is bad, because it's not not like it's not like that important anymore, right? Maybe Anathemas for Titanic, right? Maybe that's the swap. I don't have my Elder, uh, or like, I don't have my ulti instantly for Elder, which is kind of bad. Yo, 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 not easy right now, not easy right now, we need to focus. Let's go, game. I'm gonna pull them here, okay? Uh, team, go for Elder. Yo, I'm getting first strike by the KGP though. Oh no. Oh no. Not right now, team. No. Oh no. Oh no. I'm, I have one second on my ulti. I got you, bro. Lolo flashes, double down. I'm gonna kite out a little bit, good job Graves. Uh, there's a Diana here, there's a Diana here. I'm going for the Diana. I got the taunt. I'm, I'm burning, I'm burning. No, don't come in, it's okay, we got this. Elder, 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 let's take Elder. 
this is what 100% brain power Shen looks like, by the way. No, 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 no. I, we can't be having that. No, 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 we can't be having that. No, 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 kill this dude. We have a smite. Okay, okay. We have a smite. Take it easy. Holy fool. Oh, I just thought that Diva would steal it, bro. Get this guy out of here. Let's go, Baron. Let's go, Baron. Come, come, insta. Yo, GP. No, what's your name? Graves, let's go. <laughs> what is going on this game? Oh, what is going on, dude? Are we... Yeah, we're... Anathemus is going out. Anathemus is going out. I don't think Sunfire Age is even, even the best one here. Kill this button, bro. Ugh. My. <laughs> focus, focus, focus. 10 seconds on the ulti. We got this, we got this, we got this. It's, it's the most thriller game I've ever played in my life. Never have I sweated this much for a gold game. Okay, we sell this. Titanic Hydra, and we're huge. Give me this. Is this the best possible build? Or is Frostfire better? This is good. Elixir Fire, go. This is fine. Now we fight. We got Elder. Now is our chat. Let, let's end this once, once and for all. It's over. It's over. Come on. Should I be speed pushing? Maybe. Maybe I can go bot lane. I'll shove out mid lane and go bot lane. Team is there. Yo, yo, team. We can't be this dagger. Is our Morgan? Is our Morgan AFK? Have I been playing this 4v5? Yo, YouTube comments. Can you confirm? Someone tell me. Have I been playing this 4v5? <laughs> I mean, she's level 16, so it's not... Okay, okay, she's here. She's here. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks, team. Okay, I'm kind of scared. I have no vision of the enemies. We need to be pushing. We need to shove. Yo, how do you expect us to win? We need to we need to do stuff. My guy, I just took 1.6k from a GP battle. <laughs> what is going on? Oy, 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 oy. Maybe I should have gone Anathema and used it on GP instead. Is that ours? No? Yo, 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 how do we Hey, hey, team, we need to get some pressure down now. Uh, do something. My dude is almost dying to a mushroom. What's going on here? <laughs> Mö. Mö. I will not. Yo, 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 GP, you can't be. No, 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 no. I mean, Graves, you can't be serious. You can't be taking that much damage now. That's that's not cool. Morgan is being hunted. How do we? How do we end this game, man? It's so crazy. Let me let me use this. We're gonna get GP battled here, or something. We got LDR. I think, on Jim. Okay, okay, okay. Is this the final build? I think it is, I think it is. Maybe we can catch Twitch off guard here. No, we can't. Oh, it's so hard, it's so difficult, man. I can't carry this solo, Jin is not here. No, 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 no! Yo, stop this. Stop this madness. You can't be taking these damages, man. Team, no. No, 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 no. No, I will not accept it. Yo, that dude just died. Ah, it's two minutes until... 100% uh. <laughs> of my brain power, bro. Is this farther? It's farther. Is he gonna be here? Okay, just do 2k damage. Yo, 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 chill, chill. I'm out of there, GP used ult. I don't know if damage is the way to carry this even. What if we... No, 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 the, the, the tenacity is good, the tenacity is good. Okay, it's fine. Morgan is baiting in mid lane or what? One and a half minutes until second elder. Like if we can't end on second elder, I don't know what 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 we can do. <laughs> what is this game? All right, all right. What about the death bush tactic? Death bush tactic. Classic classic fanatic strat. Okay, this is our shot. Look right here, right here. 
I entered this. No, I entered this. No, I thought he would. Oh. Okay, why? I'm just struggling to make a play. I feel like I, I have no agency in this game. Uh, I'm gonna go top line. 50 seconds until second elder. I don't know how we can. Like, we need to find a way. Just some way. This, this absolute behemoth of a game. 40 seconds until Elder. Like, I'm gonna be shoving this. I get to shove it in time for Elder. We should have priority. I'm looking at Morgana. It's a kill. It's a kill. It's a kill. It's a kill. That's huge. Look, look, Graves. We go. We go. We go. I'm gonna be going here. And then we need to go. No, 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 no. No, no, you need to go. No, 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 no. Mate, mate, mate. You need to get out of here. We need to be here. Help. Team. Twitch is in the wrong spot. Let's go. Let's go. I can ult. I'm ready for it, my guys. Get this dude. Get this dude. No, no. We're going to be walking into battles. We can't do that. Yo, no. Graves. No. Not like this. Not like this team. Okay. You're fine. Recall. Just recall. Just recall. We lost our jungler. Okay, back off a little bit. Slow. Damage. Get this dude. Got him. Elder. Elder. No. Uh, Jeep is gonna steal it though. We don't know where he is. We don't know where he is. You can't get one shot right here. Okay, he's somewhere here. Get this. GP spot. Yo, yo, get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. Maybe GP can steal it with ult. That's the only way. That's the only way. I'm not gonna let it happen. Let's do it. Good one, good one. Good one. Go, 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 go. This, 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 this. Is this our fourth battle in this game? What is going No, no, no. There's battles. Oh, yo, yo, yo. Chill, 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 chill. chill. This is dangerous. No, no, no. Go with that. <laughs> I'm going crazy, dude. Let me get this battle. It's the second elder already. What is going on, man? Let me get this. Um, because I'm really thinking about whether I should go even shroud instead of this, but I think the sound for age is the best late game mythic that we have. Okay. 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 It's good. Maybe something with movement speed. Anything with movement speed? Maybe these for dead mass plate. Yeah, yeah. That's the that's the play. Dead mass plate. Go for this. Yeah, this is better. Tread carefully. We have a 900 AD AD carry, okay? We have a 23 and 1 and 20 Chen, okay? We got this. This is ours. The game is ours. Let's do this. With balance. <sighs> Take it easy. Yo, 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 yo. That's, that's danger zone, bro. Danger zone. That GP is gonna one shot you. I'm saying, dude. <laughs> Can't be taking that damage. Is my gene waiting 40 seconds for a raid buff? While we. Hey, hey, yo, chat. Yo, not chat, YouTube. <laughs> this dude just waited 40 seconds for raid buff and then didn't take it. No wonder it's hard to get up, Goldilo. <laughs> okay, we focus, we focus. Don't take this damage now. Don't take this damage now. They're gonna be shoving mid lane at the same time. I'm denying that battle. We push mid lane. We deny battles. And then we go crazy. Then we go crazy. Okay. We're doing it. Look at Jin. Jin is fine. Ult for safety. It's over. It's over. We got this. Okay. It's over with. No, 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 no. Yo, 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 why are we losing? No, I thought it was over. Jin, one shot machine. Get these minions. Uh, 30 second death timers. Nice! We won! 
Mastery 5, something. Yes, let's go. Okay, rule number 10. After each game, write down some notes and take a break. See you in the next game. <laughs> Greetings, and welcome to game 3 of how to actually climb the diamond with Shen. This might be my favorite educational matchup in League of Legends. Shen versus Jax, an absolute all-time classic of how to maneuver properly around Counter-Strike. This matchup can be so misunderstood. If you don't know what you're doing, then you can for sure lose Shen versus Jax. But if you know what you're doing, you're gonna have a fun time. And I'm gonna show you exactly how to beat Jax in games like this. Like I did in the last game. Did I do that in the last game? Yeah, I went into the tri brush. But this is literally what I do every game. Uh, every game at level one, I'm doing something, okay? Whether it is trying to cheese level one here, or placing the blade up here, or invading with the team, I'm trying to do something because you have to gain advantages at every point in the game. I'm gonna go into the bush now. Maybe if Jax is there, we will face check. Okay, we're gonna fight. That's all right. He's gonna E probably. If he chases me here, I'm gonna get another Q, which is really good. He started W, that's his mistake. He's not gonna be, be, beat me if I, he starts W. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo, Jax, my guy. <laughs> and we get the hype pings from the team. Now we're gonna instantly place our blade up the lane, because we need to get an advantage, okay? Place the blade up the lane. This prepares, up, uh, prepares us, we have a danger zone right here. Everything uh, in this kind of sector is our favorable position. We got another grass trap there. We don't want to uh, engage into any extended fight. We just want to take it easy, okay? I'll get another grass chop. Grasp, grasp, grasp. Chop, chop, chop. We had level two. We don't have to go for anything crazy, okay? We're gonna go right here. And then we look for Jax again. Get another auto attack. He hits level two. We're gonna back off. We don't have to, we don't have to fight. We don't have to fight him. When he gets uh, Lee, we don't have to fight him here. We're just gonna take it easy for a little bit. Keep our grasp up. Wait for our next taunt. We're gonna look for a grasp chop next. Okay, we need to grasp. Uh, we need to stack up our grasp again. And then I will show you the trading pattern versus Jax once we get to the point where he has counter strike. Okay, look, look, look. Right here, right here. Let me show you. We go like this. We go up. When he uses counter strike, we do this. Down backwards, then we walk back in, get another grasp trap, bonk. Very good, very good, very good. So every time he counter strikes, what you do is you step inside of his champion model and then E backwards. This way he's locked out of recasting his E, and when his E times out, he'll be, okay, we're gonna stop, step back a little bit, we didn't have taunt up yet. Okay, it's all good, it's all good. We're gonna look for taunt opportunities all the time. When he goes for a minion, then we taunt. Ooh, missed a couple of minions for free. That's not good. He's probably just gonna absorb the experience here and not try to go for anything crazy. We should be looking for a recall opportunity. Okay, he gave us a free crash chop and another one. Then E backwards. Every time, every time he counter strikes. Just wait a little bit. And then E backwards through him. It's such an effective way, but it works so well. Or such a simple thing and so effective. We could even possibly dive him here. I'm not gonna waste my Q auto attacks on him when he has his um, counter strike. So what you do notice is that your E cooldown is just a couple of seconds longer than his E cooldown. And this was not always the case because actually before um, before last summer, no, 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 it, 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 it's been a longer time. To, I've played League for so long. Okay, he's dead, he's dead. <laughs> that was so close to him getting counter strike though, uh, but uh, we punish him for it. In this matchup, you need to get an early advantage, okay? Because Jax outscales you. I'm gonna show you, like, it's, it's probably gonna happen this game even. We're gonna get, like, a 5-0 lead. This is what happens most games when I play versus Jax. And still, somehow, when Jax gets Divine Sunderer, then he starts winning the 1v1s. It's so crazy. When he gets this one item, he just starts winning the fights. And then you need to not start fighting him, like, head-on. And you need to be more smart about it. But at that point, you want to translate your uh, advantage to somewhere else, uh, like, elsewhere on the map. Now we not just went to recall. We don't have to do any funny business. We have so much gold that we're just gonna recall immediately. I'm thinking about the build that we will go for here. Uh, there are a couple of options. I'm actually gonna go Titanic first. Titanic first. So we will build this and then this and then boots and refillable. Like I said, refillable, one of the best early laning phase items. It's so OP. 150 gold investment and it keeps giving value 
to you over the course of the entire laning phase. Iana only has 15 CS. I guess she's been having a hard time in the mid lane versus Corki. Bot lane is down in CS but up a kill. That's good. And then the jungle looks to be pretty even. We have Ricard, Bo, and Diana, and she's gonna be hitting level six soon. So we are kind of in charge of this game. I'm gonna just go for an aggressive taunt here and no, not gonna extend the fight any longer. He used a ward for that. That's pretty um, wasteful. I mean, it's, it's not bad necessarily, but uh, it's not not like it's not bad for me that he wastes a ward for that. This wave will be shoving towards us, so we're just gonna every time, every time. <laughs> when he uses counter strike, he threw him backwards. It's all good. It's all good. Sometimes you can do it forwards even if you want to really go for a kill. But most of the time I'm always in backwards so that I pull pull jacks backwards with me in, in into my minion wave. Okay, you just made a mistake, buddy. You just made a mistake, buddy. It's over for you. Yoink. 3-0, then we look bot lane instantly. Every time you're getting a kill, what I want you to think about, okay, did I miss something on the map while I was in that uh, extended combat phase? Maybe, maybe you go on Leona here? Try to get killed on the opposing bot lane? Nah! Okay, <laughs> I stole it. I'm such an inter, by the way, for stealing that kill. It's okay. I would not recommend to take kills from ADC as Shen, especially since I already had three kills. Now I have to reco instantly walk back to top lane. Uh, I could buy a tier 2 boost, but I'm just gonna rush my Titanic Hydra. Move this, pickaxe, yoink. And then we go back to top lane. Let's see how mid lane is doing uh he, 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 she's quite low but Gorky is actually in kill range we have ignite flash kian ulti look 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 here flash e ultimate into this wall flash e ultimate into this wall chinese Kia, kiana combo go beifen combo beifen congo 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 do do the thing no no thing okay never mind uh i shouldn't have stepped up too far there okay beifen did the thing but he got a jungle gank to help him. Okay, we win this, but we don't want to waste out. Okay, actually, we, we're gonna have to flash. We're fine, we're fine. And now we fight. He's dead. He's dead. Minion attack skill. Nice. I, I recognize that I was not gonna win that fight flat out if we fight against Jax's ultimate, so I flashed out of there and forced Jax to put himself into danger if he wanted to extend the fight and now we are in a position where we are kind of low but we need to shove this wave in order to get a recall <laughs> classic send position happens <laughs> happens every game basically uh and how much is my item what's 1.1k i just need 400 i can get 180 by selling doran shield um this might be an even shroud angle actually when he east then we e backwards every time guys like, what, what is Jack supposed to do about that? I'm, I'm doing the same thing every time. He, he understands what's happening, but he doesn't know how to counter it. Because there is no counter. Okay, the counter is to fight Shen when he has his E down. But, okay, if we... Oh, no, no, I couldn't... I got a little bit minion block there. Oh, I'm so actually... I'm so happy that I got a Jax matchup, man. I, I, I just love playing this matchup. It's so much fun. Alright. He used ultimate. He used ultimate, guys. He uses E every time! I'm telling you, just do the same thing every time. <laughs> e backwards. Now we have to play passively a little bit, because Evelyn could be here. My ward is not even gonna help me. Should we... Like, should we... Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. We, saw her. we saw her, by the way. <laughs> She's in top. I'm just gonna have to recall. That's so sad. But that's all we can do right now. Okay, Jax made a huge mistake, by the way. Jax should never try to push the wave there, I'm pretty sure. I'm gonna be greedy and wait for 50, 5 gold here to get my Titanic Hydra. Probably the right thing would have been to sell refillable. Okay, Chinese Kiana Bafing combo? Almost. I'm gonna E now. I could have been more patient and stayed in lane. But I really didn't want to kind of like uh, put myself into that position where I'm basically at the mercy of the opposing jungler, because I, if I greedily stay there, at some point a good uh, Evelyn player would just kill me with uh, something like a flash, flash uh, combo. 
It's been a while since I've played Titanic Hider first item, but in this game I feel like it was correct because we want to kind of get that high high wave clear and, and strong early game power and we can also go for a mythic uh, that is not necessarily required to be wave clear. So right now I'm thinking about Locket or um, Even Shroud. I think I might just try Even Shroud actually. We'll see, we'll see. Or then Moonstone. <laughs> oh, look bot lane. Yes, he cancels it. I'm so happy, Jax. Thank you for this, by the way. This was so important that he cancels it, because all I wanted to do was save Sari there. Okay, now I kill him. Walk up. Walk up slowly. Walk up slowly. Okay, he has Counter-Strike. I'm not gonna kill him. <laughs> He's dead. He's dead. <laughs> I knew I could get off one auto that can then ignite. If he counter-strikes the first attack, then it's bad for me, because then I don't get the damage. Now we have to recall instantly, so we don't die to Evelyn. I'm gonna actually recall in the alcove instead of in the bushes. Because you don't know if Evelyn would be hovering here, and then she would like check these bushes, but not the alcove itself. Uh, steel caps are choice of boots for the game, because we are facing Jax. Heavy auto attacker, Caitlyn, heavy auto attacker. Even Corky does some auto attacks, but Corky's damage is mostly gonna come from... Wait, he's going for shield bow. No, this is wrong. This is wrong, I'm pretty sure. Isn't the meta build for Corky like to go Ludens? I'm pretty sure Ludens is what they build. 1 minute 40 on ultimate. Let's think about what we want to do. Uh, I'm, I'm generally considering Even Shroud here. I think I will try it. Yeah, let's go for Even Shroud. We, we can do Even Shroud and then something like, even like a, like a Sterax Cage or something. This time we did it forward, okay? Because I wanted to put myself in the position where um, I, I was in an aggressive position. I think I could have done more damage to Jax there if I kind of uh, was more patient because I knew he wanted to jump over me, right? Uh, now we can do the classic Tower Crash Tone. Okay, that's fine. He wastes ultimate. I don't want to take tower aggro, that's why I'm being so hesitant with my auto attacks. I'm just gonna keep shoving the wave, keep shoving the wave. I'll like this, do that, bonk. Okay. 40 seconds out. Whoa buddy, whoa buddy. <laughs> I thought maybe he wasn't aware of it. Cork is coming top lane by the way, I have to get out of here fast. I need to flash the package if the, he uses package. I don't know if he had package. Okay, he's in the river. Good. All good for now, Evelyn is dead. I can't do that. I'm, I'm just gonna keep shoving the wave. There's no me reason for me to risk giving. Look at my shutdown. I have a 600 gold shutdown. So if I wanted to trade kills, I would have to get three kills for dying in order to make it worth. Just like base mathematics. Let's just. Okay. Okay. Actually, Titanic Hydra no longer um no longer uh, splashes of towers. This is so, so dangerous by the way. I have to get out of here. I don't want to give this big shot down. I'm gonna ult the bot lane and make that consistent play. Ult on Kiana. I guess my ult was not needed. Guess I'll just recall right here. If Kiana tries to stop me, then I will E flash. Kindle gem, Kindle gem, Kindle gem. Let's do it. Even Shroud, this game. Even Shroud is a good item, but the reason why you don't see it on top shen is because it requires you to go Titanic Hydra first item. And Titanic Hydra first item is not as good as it used to be back in the day, and if you compare it to Season 8 Titanic Hydra, boy, it's not even close to being same power level. But it's not turbo bad. If you have a good game, then I, I, I do think that Titanic Hydra first item can be correct. I just personally, like most of the time, in high elo at least, I would rather just go for something like Sunfire Ages or Frostfire Gauntlet, because they give more uh, more of a power spike at, at, at the first item. My talent was bad there, as you could clearly see. Why, why is he chasing me? Is Evelyn here? Is Evelyn here? Or like, why, why, why did he try to chase me? No, Evelyn is in mid lane. We can, we can poke him by, uh, by splashing off of these minions. Yeah. 
And keep keep pushing the wave. Okay, this is killable. <laughs> I just need one E and an Ignite. <laughs> okay, Evelyn just killed our uh, 7 and 1 Zeri. Zeri is the new AD carry champion that does not have a basic attack. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> she, she does have a basic attack, but it's a skill shot. How much is even shot? I have not built this item actually, I think, any in any games. May I think I played one game of Even Shroud though. But this will be good to see how, how good it is as first item. Or second item, sorry. As my mythic, I would have liked to say. Six seconds on my ultimate. Um, we have two drakes, now we can get the Even Shroud. Is this Janna baiting? <laughs> We're gonna sell the Doran shield so we get the. Mythic? Okay, okay, okay. This will be interesting. Let's see how strong we are. Let's see how strong we are. We get 5 armor and 5 magic resist as a mythic bonus. And um, the thing with this item is that um, the actual like power comes from the fact that even if you are CC'd, like if you get CC'd, the, the person who CC's you and everyone around him, her, them, is going to get the 9% increase damage buff. So if Jack stuns me, for example, then he's gonna get the damage buff. Okay, let's see how much damage this does. Okay, 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 okay. Look, one more. Ooh, just in range. Look, Midland. Hey, Corky, come on, play the game, play the game. Don't quit, that's boring. Just because I had a good early game doesn't mean that the opponents have to surrender, man. The educational value is lost if the enemy surrender. My boys are crazy. Okay, actually no. Because the educational value in this game was in the Jax matchup, right? Because because I played this Jax matchup to a to the T. Like I, I hit this Jax matchup. You know, you know in cheerleading, people say they, they hit okay. I don't know why I watched it, but I, I'm actually happy I did. I watched this um, documentary on cheerleading on Netflix called Cheer. I've never like, like, I've never kind of taken any interest into um, like professional cheerleading or whatever, or not professional, but like competitive cheerleading. But that documentary was quite fun to watch. Now Jax will die. Like look, even even when I missed the taunt, and then we saved Diana with the ultimate. <laughs> Okay, good one, good one, good hustle, good hustle. Let's recall here, buy some items. Then we probably end the game already. Yeah, anyways, what the cheerleaders say is they, they say they hit something. They, they hit a stunt. And it means they hit zero, and that's like uh, zero mistakes. So I hit this Jack's laning phase because I made zero mistakes. As for items right now, okay, okay, look. Look right here, right here. Banger item, phage, hull breaker shen. Okay, don't build hull breaker. If I see you building hull breaker shen, I'm, I'm reporting you. Legit, because your champion is not made to split push. I mean, technically, a little bit. But the thing is, that with Hullbreaker, you lose all of the stats when you group up with your team. So, so, so anyways, when you start ulting team fights, suddenly this item is just not good anymore. But, like, okay, maybe, maybe if you're super far ahead, Hullbreaker could be okay. Like, in a game like this, I could see it be... No, but no, don't build hull breaker. Just don't. Just don't. There are better options always. <laughs> always better options than hull breaker. Let's end the game. Let's finish this right here. Right now. Come on, team. Then we will face our final challenge. The diamond game. Let's make that one interesting. Goes for the snare. Big. Huge. And we end the game. Alright, thank you for watching this far. I hope I'll see you in the last game. Greetings dear viewer, and welcome to the final game of how to actually climb to diamond with Shen. Naturally, we are playing this game in low diamond elo, just to show you guys what you will be facing in those final diamond promotion series. And uh, This game will be focused on how to kind of adapt your Shen game style, the higher elo like okay by the way this is so bad to walk right here 
Uh, the, the reason why I like this invade so much is because the enemies have uh, like very little time to react to it if you hug this wall properly. But if you just run at them like with no regard, or what? He's so fast! What? The <laughs> Like, yeah, I, I would have thought that, but like, literally, Liana could have sidestepped it with. <laughs> so, that looks so funny, because you usually don't see people have that. Get off me, Yumi. <laughs> that looks so funny. But yeah, yeah, in general, uh, at higher reloads, I tend to invade every game. So, what I will do is I will walk from here, invade this dry brush if you're on red side, then we'll do the same thing here, try to kill the top laner. Stuff like that. Now I'm gonna check the buff so that we don't um, lose the red buff to the opposing jungler. And then I'm gonna walk back to lane if I don't spot them. Okay, no one is here. I'm gonna use my E just to get back to lane faster, so I'm, I'm there. The level 1 uh, is a bit difficult now since I started E, which was kind of a mistake since I didn't, didn't get anything for it. So I have to play uh, more passively. Uh, and Kled is also running lethal tempo, so any extended trace that we take early on will be in his favor. Ooh, did I get all these minions? <gasps> no, I got creep blocked. I have Grasp now. I'm fine to take uh, ten, trade one out attack uh, with Grasp. But I didn't get a chance to do that. So we're just gonna chill a bit. See, he's gonna hit level 2 from this minion. Um, the, the build that I'm gonna go for is probably gonna be Sunfire Ages first item. Or then Frostfire. It depends on what gold amounts I have when I back. And I also want to go for this uh, redemption playstyle this game since we have a hyper carry Kog'Maw and I feel like uh, the best way to win uh, games in higher elos is to like play your champion to its to its role. Like naturally in lower elos you can play Shen as more of a, a bruiser but as you progress towards higher elo I tend to think that uh, like these supportive builds get more value since also your carries are gonna be more competent so it's it's like uh, more reliable to put your game into the hands of the AD carry <laughs> see what I did there so so clad players are very used to getting their passive back up right because they think that okay I'm just gonna go mini form then I'm gonna auto attack and I'm gonna get the courage to remount but what Shen's W does is since it blocks auto attacks the clad is actually not getting any courage back so so I always save my W for when the clad is in uh, the uh, like unmounted form and then the clad players are always so so confused about the fact that like um Hmm, I can't really help here, I'm never gonna catch up. No, no, Kha'Zix! <laughs> you didn't have to do that, bro! <laughs> yes, a dash. Oh, Silas? Flashy, flashy. Okay, you don't even need to flash. Okay, that's so huge. Oh, beautiful. But yeah, Clad players often get caught. I mean, this happens like every game I play. Clad. Oh no, I should block this. Wait, he got the recall off. What? That was so clutch. It was in the last 0 0.5 seconds where he took damage, so it didn't cancel the recall. Because if you didn't know, uh, recall zero, like last half a second, is uh, uncancelable by damage. But I'm not sure if it's uncancelable by CC. I, I, I believe it's uncancelable by damage only, but someone might have to um, check that for me. Maybe you can go look it up, but I'm pretty sure as at least for damage is 0 0.5 seconds that you can't uh, stop the recall anymore. Oh, I didn't get my crash proc. If you didn't know, um, Kled's um, second part of the queue applies grievous wounds, so yeah, when you get crash drop like after uh, Kled cues you, then you will not gain as much HP back, <laughs> which is kind of a fun thing to know. I don't want to take trades when he has W up. Oh, let's get a free grass proc there, and I'm looking to get a recall now. If I can shove this way about the power, it would be really good. I'm gonna keep poking him. I'm gonna run now. I think I'll be fine. Yeah, I have a passive shield. I'm completely fine. You can catch Diana. At least blow her flash, I think. 
Oh, we missed low. That's kind of bad. I wonder if I can streak all here. The wave is slow pushing towards me, so it's fine. Uh, I'll pick up my Sunfire Aegis now. I mean, sorry, my Bummy Cinder, and then... I think... I think Cloth Armor is good here. Maybe Boots is better. I, I should... I should think about this more, like, I don't know if... Um, probably usually Boots... Boots are better than Cloth Armor. And I think in this case, Boots would have been better as well. Because Boots are more versatile. They still, like, allow me to, you know, take less damage. Just as Cloth Armor does. But it also allows me to go for, um... Like more kills. Ooh, we can get the cannon. Give me. Nice. Got our ultimate now. Look bot lane. No, nothing to do. I was just a little bit late. I'm gonna look mid lane though. Yeah, they're fine. Ah, uh, <laughs> missed those minions because I was looking. As for the item build in this game, um, like I said, I want to go Frostfire or Sunfire, depending on gold amount. I think Sunfire is the better option here, because we want to go Steel Caps, but we also like to get uh, Tenacity uh, and slow resistance from the Mythic passive, and Sunfire Ages is good because they have um, four melee champions, so I think Sunfire is definitely correct actually. Uh, and then after that I will actually probably purchase a Relic Shield, maybe after my second item, so if I go Redemption second item then I'm purchasing Relic Shield after that, because um, it's actually okay to buy support items, or like the support item as sent. I don't wanna, uh, I don't wanna trigger his passive, so what I like to do is I like to cl keep clad players at just above um, their, like, mount threshold. And why that is, is because um, this way they can't regain the courage and heal back up. So I'm essentially just keeping them in an HP level where I can kill them if they engage onto me. And, oh, uh, there's... Diana is here. But I'm gonna kill the Kled. Uh, I'm not gonna... Yeah, okay. She wastes the ultimate. That's fine, that's fine, that's fine. I got Kled. Uh, no, he didn't even ult. I meant to say Diana ult. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna take Steel Caps here. I like the movement speed. It's good. Uh, then... Or did I have enough for... No, I don't have enough for the this item. But Aegis isn't even that good of an item on Shen, to be honest. Like, the early ability, ability haste isn't that important. Got my ult now. We can look for a counter gank on the bot lane, although Diana is not gonna be ganking yet. Maybe in, like, uh, 20 seconds she's gonna be able to gank. Okay, she took Herald. Uh, this wave was quite poor for me, because it kept kind of pushing. Oh, she's got a kill. Nice, very good. But the thing about the support item is it... Oh, let's look. We killed this. I'm gonna help potion, I'm fine. Yep. I'm gonna recall instantly. I'm gonna lose a couple of tower platings, but it's alright. At the end of the world. Turning that bot lane... Uh, fight around to a double kill is completely good. Now the question is, do I go... Yeah, I'm gonna do this, just because, like, um, at this point, uh, the fi 15 armor for Cloth Armor, uh, since I already have quite a bit of armor, is not gonna be as valuable as the fact that I get some magic resist against the possible Diana gank. Because I, I, I think I can win the 1v1s versus Kled, regardless of if I have that extra Cloth Armor. And the only way I kind of can win 1v2s is if I purchase Magic Resistant. You can see Diana is the most red uh, champion on the enemy team. Look mid lane. Maybe... No, he can't outplay it. I'm gonna try to find Kled here. And yeah, we found him. I'll try to get another proc. Yeah, that's so good. Look, we keep him... We, this, this HP is perfect. This HP is perfect. Now I wait for my taunt before going in again. I'm gonna use my health po or refillable potion here. I'm just gonna wait a little bit, play it patiently. Nice! Just got him before he mounted. Oof, that was so close. 
He was like, if he remounts there, he kills me, but I calculated it. And like I said, I can win that without uh, out the cloth armor, so that's why I rather go for the null magic mantle, because it allows me to uh, have the possibility of living versus Diana, because uh, if I don't have null magic mantle, then Diana can burst me, like, you know, in one combo, basically. I don't know if she could be here. I don't think she would wait here. I'm gonna just ward. Okay, uh, Kled DPs, that's fine. Now we're just gonna play passively a little bit because I don't even have a good recall that I would only get HP by recalling. Silas is dead. I'm gonna have to chill a little bit, let the wave show up towards me. Uh, what I want to say is about this relic shield. It has this um, item grants reduced gold from minions if you kill uh, excess excessive amounts of them. But it actually only starts counting minions. Um, oh, oh, oh. After you've purchased the item. And, and the, the, the way it counts excessive is by the in-game clock. So if you purchase Relic Shield at a later time, you can have much, like, you can have more minions killed uh, than normally is allowed if you purchase Relic Shield uh, at level 1. I don't know, is, I, I'm having, like, trouble explaining the whole thing, like, but maybe, maybe you understand what I'm saying. So if you kind of purchase Relic Shield at 20 minutes, you can make use of the 20 minutes beforehand because you get to last hit minions and also the 20 minutes count towards the support are uh, like mm, gold restriction so so that way you just get to like farm minions even though you have the relic shield and like after purchasing it you can still farm 80 minions safely or something i'm pretty sure it's 80 maybe it's even more i don't remember but we'll, we'll see okay. Diana is waiting for a gank here, jump over. Uh, look how important this ward was, by the way. Because this ward allows, allows us to see the fact that he, uh, she is trying to use the blast gun. I'm gonna ward this now. I'm not gonna use a control ward because it could be cleared fast. I need 400 gold for um, Sunfire Ages. So I'm gonna wait for that. I'm gonna use my Q there to activate my key barrier just to deny some of the second um, Q damage from Kled. Then we have to look at my uh, jungler. Think he got a kill, yeah. Then we look at jungler still. He big, big. Gonna taunt the Leona. Leona's dead. We can get someone more. I'm actually gonna recall. I'm gonna recall and purchase. No, 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 no. I don't need to. I can get both wave. Yeah, this is good. Because uh, Kogma went top, top lane. So I'm able to grab this. I'm not at such a low HP that I would need to recall immediately. I'm gonna take those, then get this cannon. And I'm still gonna shove out the waves. I don't know what this ward is supposed to do. I'm gonna take this wave, take that control ward, and then probably base for my Sunfire. And then I can purchase Relic Shield. No, 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 no. Sorry, sorry, Redemption. But I, I'm not actually sure if Redemption is good here. Mm, probably... Um, I have to think. I wanted to show a su more supportive build, but I don't actually know if supportive build is correct here. I knew this would happen, by the way. I just, I just knew that the AD carry is gonna die to Kled, because like Kogmav immobile AD carry versus a Kled, how are you gonna leave that sideline? So... That's a bit unfortunate, I guess. Kled gets one kill and... He now has a player of the Ruined King. Uh, the Demolish is gonna get the tower. I'm actually gonna loop around here. Ah, uh, the minion spotted me. Maybe he agrees for this. He still has E. But he can jump. Yep. Nice. I'm just gonna ignite to make sure no funny business is gonna happen with Kled. <laughs> no, the burn. Uh, the burn just burned it low HP, so that the minion out there got it. <laughs> Guys, if you want to climb the diamond, just learn how to last hit cannons. Don't do like me. Don't do it like me. <laughs> Simple steps to diamond. Learn how to last it. I, I'm having a hard time figuring out what item I should go for here, because I, I think Bramble West is also really good in the air comp. This guy has healing. This guy has healing. This guy has a little bit of healing. Jinx doesn't have that much. And then Rando is Omen is also good. Also, actually Frozen. 
you know, Frozen Heart is not even bad in this game. But... Because... I, I, I usually feel like Randoin's Omen is not a good item on Shen anymore, for some reason, it just doesn't feel right. I'm gonna dodge that, I just want the cannon, okay. I'm gonna take that, yeah, and then I'm out, thank you. I got the Kog'Maw bait technology. I don't need to even waste my flash because Kog'Maw just wants to kill. And I get the assist because of my ultimate shield and W. If you, if you drag your W through an ally with QW, then um, you will get assist for any damage that they do. Okay, Kog'Maw. I mean, Kha'Zix. <laughs> Void user, whatever. No, the Yumi gave the Leon a way out. <laughs> no. No, that was bad. No. I'm gonna have to go top lane. Is Frozen Heart even bad here? 80 armor, 20 ability haste, reduces attack speed. Then compared to this, plus 200 more, 80 armor, 10 abilities. You, you just get the health from it and the slow thing. A clan just running, no, can't be disabled by the way. <laughs> but if you look at their champions, they are like heavy attacker so attack speed reduction is really valuable the only thing is it's like wasted mana you know what i think i'm gonna try it i'm just gonna try how it feels i'm just gonna try how it feels Yoink. Yoink. i need 700 gold for it also can sell my doran shield for 180 so that's only 500 gold that i need 2300 is the threshold no, we don't want to fight this. We, we can just go. We, we have no need to fight this. Now just give it. I'm gonna control guard this so we know that Silas is safe while we're calling. Play this bot lane so I can take this wave. There were three people mid lane, four people mid lane actually. Yeah, four people mid lane. I have my ultimate so I can join for the fight. Hey, close, but not no cigar. I In an ideal world, um, I get the frozen heart before I have to ult, but that's not necessarily gonna happen. This game might not be a support item game, just because uh, like I'm actually quite strong in the side lane. But we'll see, we'll see. I'm trying to get this. I'm trying to get this tower, it would be really nice, but I'm not gonna like overcommit for it. Okay, big. I'm not gonna flash because I don't need to flash here. Yeah, I'm fine. Oof, what a big play. <laughs> Kha'Zix is 14 and all, by the way. <laughs> is Kled here? No. I get these minions and then I purchase the Frozen Heart. Kha'Zix Shen Yumi is such a nasty combo. Okay, I'm out now. I could greed for one more wave, but I just want to get the recall and get tempo so I can go top lane. Okay, frozen hard, control ward, then we go top lane. Just gonna wait in base a little bit for my HP to reach and there we go. I, I, I generally think this item build is correct in this game. I'll just have to see how the frozen heart feels, but I think the attack speed reduction will be so nice versus Diana, Kled and Yasuo, because what people don't realize is that attack speed reduction is like more valuable than it actually gives as an in-game statistic because the the players who face attack speed reduction they might like fail auto attacks because they're used to their attack speed right they're used to their attack speed and then they then i walk next to them they lose 20 percent of their attack speed and then when they're kiting they will uh, kind of try to auto attack when their auto attack is still on cooldown because of my attack speed reduction and that's what makes it so valuable because it actually like messes with the uh, kiting rhythm of the champions so it's, it's, it's funny because it's uh, like for example armor is never more valuable than it actually is because it's just a numeric stat that reduces damage taken but because attack speed reductions uh, have this influence on the player behavior then they have like a hidden hidden uh, component to them I'm kind of scared kind of scared do you think we can one with one Diana I think we can. We're three levels up and we have Ignite. 
the classic surrender vote from our 4 and 10 ADC. <laughs> Uh, I'm probably not gonna go for the support build just because um, I I'm just getting free farm in sideline so there's no li need to limit that but in games where you are behind building a support item is totally fine but that, I'm gonna move my control ward further up because the tribrush ward that I had before is not gonna be as useful okay she used hextech rocket belt that's fine okay Kha'Zix that damage was uh, illegal. We can do this, we can do this, yeah, yeah, yeah. My Q, preemptively. I'm not gonna ult bot lane, like, I'll just let Kog'Maw die. There's no reason to ult there. Sunfire Age is so good at taking, um, like, um, objectives. It gives you so much damage versus objectives. <laughs> Look, Kog'Maw is being my ultimate. But it was correct for me to not go, because I need to take tower, uh, Baron Agro. So that uh, Kha'Zix doesn't get the damage reduction. I'm gonna do this. Actually. Leona! I'm out. <laughs> Took a lot of damage there. The reason why I'm going for Anathema's Chains is because if you look at their team, AD, 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 so I can just build Anathema's Chains and use it on Diana to reduce the magic damage that I take from her, right? And then I'm still getting health that is useful against everyone else on their team. In general, Anathema's Chains is really strong in games where one of the um, opponents has like a differing damage type. And usually it's gonna be a magic damage dealer, so say for example a card <laughs> like this Kogma is kind of filter, I think. <laughs> Ouch, Jinx Rocket in my face. Oh yeah, I just realized it was a Silas Jinx Rocket earlier. Yo yo, please let me live. I'm out. Okay, I'm recalling. I'm so low. Uh but if I get one jungle camp then I can <laughs> then I can purchase my item. No, they surrendered. Okay. That's it for how to climb the diamond. I hope you learned something new and I wish you the best of luck for climbing this year. Thanks for watching.